Sylvester Stallone says Obama was a Manchurian candidate who was put in office to intentionally weaken America. Do you agree with him? By conservativestamp.com. The greatest conspiracy in world history is being carried out by the real-life Manchurian candidate, President Barack Obama. My definition of a Manchurian candidate is a person who hates everything America stands for and whose goal is to win the presidency for the express purpose of destroying the greatest nation, the greatest economic system, and the greatest middle class in world history. That, my friend, describes Obama. I'm not basing it on rumors or innuendo. I'm basing it on the facts. I know liberals hate facts, but bear with me. So here are a few which I lay out more fully in my new book, The Murder of the Middle Class. China is set to pass the United States as the world's largest economy based on consumer spending this year. It will be the first time since 1872 that America has not been the number one economy in the world. For the first time in history, America's middle class isn't the richest in the world. Canada's middle class has passed us. For the first time in American history, more businesses are closing each day than they are starting. More Americans now receive entitlements than work full-time. There are now 70% more Americans collecting entitlement checks than working in the private sector. 148 million takers versus 86 million makers. The average full-time male employee now earns less, adjusted for inflation, than he did 40 years ago. 20% of U.S. families don't have a single member who is employed. The number of working-age Americans without a job increased by about 10 million in Obama's first five years as president. Every year of Obama's presidency, two million more Americans disappeared from the workforce. Sixty percent of the jobs lost were middle class jobs, but only 22 percent of the new jobs are middle class jobs with decent wages. America's second largest employer is a temp agency. 70% of Americans believe we can still in the middle of the economic crisis or that the worst is yet to come. If Obama isn't the Manchurian candidate, he certainly plays the part well. Consider the evidence. Who trades five jihadist mass murderers for one deserter? who releases 36,000 illegal alien felons into the population? Who show, slows deportation of illegal alien youth, thereby convincing tens of thousands more to cross our border illegally and create a massive crisis? Who advertises U.S. food stamps in Mexico for illegal aliens? Who proposes 442 new taxes in only six years? Who strangles business with tens of thousands of new regulations and adds thousands of dollars to middle class Americans' energy bills? Who promises your health premiums will go down and if you like your insurance you can keep it knowing all the while that up to 80% of small business employees will lose their insurance and as well as will up to 60% of all employees and the health insurance premiums will skyrocket. Wow. Who uses NSA to spy on the conversations of ordinary Americans? who uses the IRS to attack political opponents while turning a blind eye to illegal aliens getting billions of dollars in fraudulent tax credits, 
who spends $300 million on mortgages for Palestinians while allowing vets to die on phantom waiting lists for a doctor? Who orders the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission to sue American companies for demanding English as the language of the workplace? Who bans Christmas cards from veterans' hospitals if the word God is included? Who bans the word Christmas from military bases? Base, yeah. Who demands Miranda rights be extended to a mass murdering jihadist but allows a heroic U.S. Marine to be tortured by, in a Mexican prison? Obama may have been born in America, which I doubt, but his thinking and actions are un-American. Yes, my fellow patriotic Americans, I'm sad to report we have a Manchurian candidate president. Wayne Allen Root is the author of the new book, The Murder of the Middle Class, How to Save Yourself and Your Family from the criminal conspiracy of the century, as well as the ultimate Obama survival guide. Well, seems like I'm going to be looking into this book, that's for sure. Let me know what you guys think, because this was like really, really in-depth, without even going in-depth. Let me know what you guys think, and again, Thank you so much for watching.